Welcome to another local market update with Rick Batista on new listings, Rick Batista on closed sales, Rick Batista on median sales price, Rick Batista on percent of original list price received, Rick Batista on market time, and Rick Batista on inventory of homes for sale. To all the deals I've closed before. Hey Chicago, welcome to this Halloween edition of uh, the weekly market update. This is information and data provided by the Chicago Association of Realtors. This information is for the week ending of October 15th and current as of yesterday, October 24th. Wanted to point out first for our our investor and landlord clients, uh, Realtor.com reported that the median national rents fell slightly to $1,759 in September, marking the second consecutive month rents have dropped. Uh, Although median rents remain 7.8% higher than a year ago, it represents the smallest year-over-year increase and the slowest annual rate of growth since June 2021, suggesting that the rental market may be cooling after the record-breaking pace of the last two years. And even though this is information at the national level, uh, I can tell you from firsthand experience um, that uh, the rental market has certainly seen a lot of of changes and a lot of drastic changes in the last couple of years uh, in and around Chicago. A couple of reasons being in 2020, uh, when buyer, first-time home buyers finally had saved enough money during the pandemic to uh, put down uh, down payment on their first home, there was just such a craze to buy homes um, that they were getting beat out in, uh, in bidding wars, and they kind of flowed back into the rental market, um, and that happened a lot in 2021 as well. Uh, a little bit of a different scenario, but uh, kind of the same result, uh, where we started seeing a lot of very qualified renters uh, coming back into the rental market after having the frustration of not being able to buy their home. So as as a result, I think what's happened now uh, with the rental market being a little slower now, I would say many or most of those qualified first-time home buyers that ended up not buying have already uh, established themselves into into a one-year or more uh, up to a two-year lease, uh, and they're just going to kind of test the waters again maybe next year or the year after. Uh, so definitely seeing a lot of things slowing down in the rental market. Uh, to go over some of the numbers, uh, the overall numbers, and we'll dive a little bit deeper in just a moment. Uh, these are year-over-year changes um, for the past week. New listings uh, for detached single-family homes was down by 7%. Attached being condos and townhomes was down by 30.2%. Uh, under contract, we saw detached down by 27.3% and attached down by 314 Homes for sale year-over-year changes. Uh, detached market is still doing well, um, if you look at it that way, uh, where we're seeing 7.4% more detached single-family homes in the market, and d- attached is down by 29.1. Now let's dive a little deeper. Uh, new listings, we have 401 single-family detached homes at the market last week, bringing the three-month average to 432, which was a decrease year-over-year of 2.3%. And for single-family attached, we saw 495 new listings at the market with a three-month average of 578, down by 28.8% year-over-year. Under contract, single-family detached, we saw 176 homes go under contract, uh, bringing a three-month average to 180, down by 21.9%. And single-family detached, 227, bringing us to a three-month average of 256, and down just under 28% year-over-year. Inventory of homes for sale, we saw 3,030 detached single-family homes, which brought us a a three-month average of 3,020, up by 9.8% year-over-year, and single-family attached 4,620, bringing us a three-month average of 4,869, down by 26.2%. Please keep in mind that this information is for residential activity only within the 77 areas of Chicago proper. Um, and things can change very drastically between area to area, neighborhood to neighborhood. Uh, so if you're interested in what this information means to you um, and wanting to find out even more detailed information about what's happening within a few blocks um, or within a couple of miles of where your property sits, uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, you can send us a message. Um, if you have some feedback or input about our video, uh, feel free to leave a, a comment below. Hopefully it's a nice comment. You can reach out to us anytime. We are always ready to have a conversation. Uh, Whether you're buying, selling, renting, or need property management services, we're here and ready for your next move. Thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time.